Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to determine the infinite limit, the limit as x approaches pi halves from the right of 1 over x times secant of x. So if we're writing the limit right here, what we have to do is plug in our value into the function. So this is 1 over pi halves from the right times secant, which is 1 over cosine of pi halves from the right. So 1 over pi halves, as we get closer and closer to pi halves, just approaches 2 pi. Sorry, 2 over pi. Right? Pi divided by 2, 1 over that, you flip the fraction, 2 divided by pi. And this is being multiplied by 1 over, then cosine as you get closer and closer to pi over 2. So this is the graph of cosine. We see that the value of the function at pi over 2 is 0. And as we're approaching it from the right, that means we are approaching 0 from the negative numbers from the left. So this is 1 over 0 from the left. This is therefore equal to 2 over pi times approaching 0 from the left, 1 over 0. Right? Any number divided by 0 as we're approaching 0 is going to go off to infinity or negative infinity. And since it's from the left, we're coming from the negative numbers. 1 divided by a negative very, very small number as we get close to 0 is going to go off to negative infinity. And any number times negative infinity is negative infinity, which is the value of the limit.